Hey Louise Singleton here. Today I'm going to be showing you how I get rid of those really nasty drips from underneath my artwork in a flash. No masking tape, really quick and easy. So quick in fact that the video would be too short. So I'm going to show you the footage of me creating this artwork and then how I got rid of the drips afterwards. If you're new here, please click subscribe and ring the bell and enjoy. So let's start with the magic trick that I use which is smearing the back of your board with petroleum jelly. When you've done that you need to clean off the edges of your board really well especially if you're wanting the resin on your picture to run down the sides. So as you can see here most of the work seems to have already been done but I did make quite a few mistakes which I wanted to rectify. So I'm just doing a last coat and smearing it with my jumbo lolly stick so it's all covered in uh, art resin. I've covered it all with a clear coat and I'm going to add some more details to just enhance certain areas. Here I'm adding some white just to get that really nice contrast on the edges of the waves that I already had. I wasn't quite happy with the contrast so I'm adding some more and I've kept my I've used acrylic white acrylic paint in the resin and I've kept it quite thick because I don't want too much lacing. If you if you go for too too mad with the heat gun and the lacing effect it can really take over the picture and I just wanted it to be subtle. Here I'm just doing some clouds in the same way. I've just trickled on the uh, white acrylic and resin and I'm going to hit it with the heat gun and that way I've just got a really subtle effect. This is the whole reason really that why I've had to, to do these finishing touches because the first time I got way too much lacing and it went out of control. So I, I painted over it again, the bits that I didn't like with acrylic paint and then did another layer of resin just to rectify my mistakes and here I've just added some dark green uh, to give like a shadow under the waves I wanted to get that depth by having the dark green under the waves and there I'm adding some bright green to get the effect of the sun shining on it If you look closely here you can see the lacing which I got in my previous layer, that faint white and it was really lovely lacing but it really took over the picture. I kept some of it and painted over some of it because it was just too faint and just taking over and I just didn't like it. This time I'm much happier with the brightness of the white and the control that I had over it by using the thicker paint. And I'm blowing it with my new heat gun which is really great. I'll put a link to it in the description because I found that it's actually the, the heat gun for me which is where I've been failing in the past with my lacing because it just wasn't working every time for me 
and I thought maybe it's the heat gun so I bought this new one and you know even without using special things like resi blast and all the rest of it I still can get the lacing just by using the right heat gun which was really a good buy for me I was really pleased I got it towards the end I was really getting to the point where I was doing too much and in danger of going too far with it so this is where I called it a day <laughs> slowed this down it's the next day and I'm just wiping it off with my finger or you can use a lolly stick and it just comes off so easy had to slow it down because it's just such a quick process and then it's done you do need to give it a really good clean afterwards and it does the petroleum jelly does tend to stay in the back of your board so I would really recommend when you've cleaned your board giving it a coat of acrylic paint which is what I always do to the backs of my board anyway to make a nice finish and there's my isopropyl alcohol and I'm going to wipe it all over just to get rid of the petroleum jelly you do need to be quite thorough and go over it a few times but then it's gone and then you've got a nice clean back So if you enjoyed watching my video please hit subscribe in the middle and don't forget to leave me a comment because I'd love to hear what you thought of it and maybe you've tried this and had the same experience as me. 